Get it, girl. girl. Check, Come check, over. check, check. No, just need it. Are we rolling? Are we rolling? Sometimes you just need whistle pig. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I always just need whistle pig. It's like, you know, if you've got a hangover, you need the hair of the dog, or if you're going through a rough day, or you're just ready to start your, your afternoon and evening, whether you're sipping on the good stuff like Zach, whether you're getting the, the uh, ready to drink in the can. It's, it's I'm the, going water. We still have a lot. We're talking to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, not, no, we we're got, not quite ready. We got a lot more to do. But we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, Stefan can cut cameras. It's, <laughs> it's Friday Night Pints, uh, Nashville edition. Last time we were at Whistle Pig and we did the whole gang. Now we're here in Nashville with the whole squad. Uh, we got uh, Zach debuting the new hair. We've got uh, We've got... The baddie Jackie debuting the nails it's and the not, spray I'm tan. It's not even a baddie anymore. Wait, Are you took them off? What's the band aid, dude? The band aid, I got a blood blister, so I had to cover that. <laughs> this <laughs> one's broken. What? What have, what have you done? Were you working out? No, I just, I don't know. I just woke up and I had a blood blister. Well, it's probably because of the allergic fucking thing that you <laughs> no, Yeah, I don't no, know what causes like blood blisters, but. What? Oh, wait, a it, little it unidentified that, drunken, that drunken injury. Yeah. Whatever. This one's broken. Yeah, we, my spray tan, what did you do? I itched off all my spray tan because of the hives. I'm not a baddie anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you are not a baddie. You had a 24 hour you, run. You were Cinderella, man. The clock struck 12. Did you have any run? Because, like, even with hives. Even when you were a baddie. You were covered in hives. No, there was no, 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 because there was like there was like a twelve hour period before the hives kicked in. Where like <laughs> I, I had the spray tan and the nails, and I was like, I know okay. that I have like twelve hours, and I had like my sunglasses on, and I and I was. So were you out for that twelve hours? Or I was just sitting out, right there? I was at just, brunch, and I was okay. the hottest bitch. In in no, not in Nashville, just like in New York for like twelve hours. Oh, this was before you even got I, here. Yeah, because this was like oh. I did this on like Thursday. Got or whatever. it. Hottest bitch in New York for 12 hours, <laughs> and now the clock strikes 12 and he turned back to go pumpkin. Se season two off to a season two. Yeah. Not, so I take back the whole season two. Yeah, we, we, we were talking about Jackie's uh, life arc here, and Jackie said season two is coming and it's over for you bitches um, because and I said we need to have a season one what? for now. Did you clean your sneakers? <laughs> I cleaned them before. <laughs> I wasn't because Air Force I Ones are like ninety bucks. <laughs> I'm you a new pair? I know. Did I have I talked to you about my financial situation? Like, yeah, that's true. Come talk to me right now. Okay, I'll get you a pair of new Air Force Ones. I'll take you up on that. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that, that we can do. Okay. Um, but we were saying you, you need to start season two, and then we need to have a season one finale. And this is because what you like when you moved and got the job. That was. I feel like this is season three. Yeah, I feel like when you moved, season one was you living with a Russian woman. Yeah, yeah. Was like season one was like good, good reality TV show entertainment. Love you get lady. the new job, yeah. you move across the country, you're living with strangers, you're just like doing New York. Yeah, right. I would say this season one finale of that was like. She maybe did. sleeping in the office in the in the in the bird pants or something. Oh, that was allowed. When she, when she gave <laughs> up, or when she gave up being director of morale, basically. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Was, that was, yeah. You came in hot, trying to help us. Yeah, be, be, be but happy. The, you also director when, morale more recently. What? Yeah. I feel like the director of morale gave up was more recently because I remember you said. I remember vividly you said. Uh, I thought I could fix you guys. I can't. That was actually and, last Friday Night Pints. And we said, yeah, like, there's a graveyard of women. Well, yeah, like, you are not the first. <laughs> yeah. um, but maybe when you were crying about, like, doing something at work, that was, maybe, like, it was like a sad season finale. You know what I mean? Like, it when it was like, sad, maybe can you I believe she almost getting fired? Who knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then season two was kind of the boring one, like you said. Boring meaning, like, you had your job. You were yeah. living in New York. It was just low budget, smooth, like, low budget, no boys. You, you just casually slipped in that you like lost all your friends. Okay, <laughs> okay I don't know what happened there. Um, <laughs> so now I think we're on a season two finale, looking for a season three where you become a baddie. And as I'm saying that, I go, you need a season one finale. Like maybe we'll do something at the live show. We'll do a segment on you needing a new season. And like I don't know, we'll like pull a guy up on stage, and I go. And you can kiss him. And at the same time, she goes, and I'll fuck his dad. No. And I was like, no. We are like on different. I did not don't think it out know if it is. That is what I said, technically. Yes. But <laughs> that was sure, verbatim. Sure, those were the words that like. <laughs> so that's what I said I was going to do. You were setting a believable tone. No. Yes. But. I did talk about fucking somebody's dad. But I, I meant more like, it's like. A hypothetical fucking somebody's dad like it's i need i'm uh, gonna it's a mic drop type of yeah you're, you're you're saying like a symbolic dad fucking y yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah it's like something on the level of fucking your dad that makes what you go makes oh wow fucking a dad a mic drop moment 
It's just like I fucked your dad. What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. What do you, Mike, mean? you say I yeah. fucked your dad. You <laughs> dropped the mic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, you want to? You want to? I want like a mic throw oh, so you, situation. Okay, so hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a conspiracy, not a conspiracy, but a a urban legend about fraternities where like some would make you. Uh, like you, you raise a dog and at the end you have to kill it or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my yeah, god! Yeah, yeah. Or, yep. or you have a pet and you have to kill it. And I, I say, has that ever happened? Uh huh. Has that happened? I, 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 no, to me. No, no. But like that's a real I, it's a true story. I've or heard, the, I've heard the tale. Yeah. I don't know. Jeez, have any real examples have guys of it? The dog, but uh, that was separate, right? But yeah, yeah, yeah. That was an accident. <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> um, but the so what you want to do is basically you want to you want to willingly do that. That that's how you do because like you want to. What you want to do is you want to meet the sun, you want to raise the sun, and you you, you want to know the sun. I think I, I kind of like, lost you with this. Well, because you want to, you want to. I, I was thinking yeah. you just wanted to fuck a dad. Oh, you yeah. want to know? No, his I want to know the person that I want to yeah, fuck their dad. Yeah, yeah, break yeah, his yeah. Fucking heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. you want to know the dog? Boy, that, I thought you were just looking for some like yeah. older, mature dad. <laughs> no, 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 no. I thought you were done with like younger guys. Does it have to be like the son you're trying to break? So what I a girl that you don't like? I go. I was like, oh, well, like we can get that done in a heartbeat. We'll like put out a call for like all the single dads. She goes, they don't need to be single. Quickly retracted that one. But she wants. I think she wants to fuck like a family man. I fucked your dad. <laughs> One of your dads. <laughs> <laughs> Whose dad out of the crew would you want to fuck the most? I'm not gonna <laughs> That's the game. Like, uh, oh, we'll go I around first. Who's, okay. Whose mom do you want to fuck the most? And then I, you have to answer dad. Wait, well, well, can everybody show a picture of the dad? Yeah, we could put. No, that's me. No. <laughs> no that's going to be yeah, someone's dad. Me. Based no. on us. <laughs> no. Who, on yeah. Okay. So, like, um, I feel like. I feel like Zach, we could get over that. Yeah. That's fine. You already kind of hate me a little bit. So oh, 100% like, I hate you. you so this dumb bitch, she hits me all <laughs> the time. We're this bound to the get in a fist fight at some point, so like, I might as well just get it over with. Right? So you're she saying can't. you're not going to get through it, you're going to burn the relationship. Yeah, I'm fucking your dad. She came over to me yesterday, just like she was like, got up to go to the bathroom, walks over to me on the couch, I'm, I'm like posting something, and she just slaps me in the face and just walks away. <laughs> <laughs> that is not fucking true. Fucking exactly Smith that. Right not true at all. I slapped you in the back of the head. And it was like, it was like a still. Yeah. So, so no, it was harder than that. So you had to drop the at all there because it's not, it's true a little bit. Well, yeah. that's, true, <laughs> like, that's the, not true at all. You were saying when I slapped you like, in the face, it was like yeah, well, it was like a little like and you, kicked, and you kicked my leg when I you saw no, I had a bad a leg. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> that was a foot <laughs> high difference. <laughs> I had my foot up like this because my leg hurt, and she just came over and kicked. Well, I forgot that you like I was giving you a kiss with my knuckle. That was in Boston when he was limping the entire yeah, and we all knew he was hurt. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Rear back for the high five. Yeah, you're, yeah you're, I was gonna uh, say that's not. So you're gonna fuck his dad, and, <laughs> and then he's really gonna hate you, or? And but it's just like, what would you we'll do get if, over it. If, if Jackie fucked your dad? Like, forget about like family shit. Like, if it was just your dads are single or whatever, and she fucks your dad, <laughs> and you find out, what would you say? Start calling her mom, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what, is the most now, <laughs> what time do we record, Jen? You can tell me. I think I'd be, I think I'd be like, cool, dap it up. <laughs> I think I'd like dap it up with my dad. I don't think I'd be like, cheer you on, but I'd be like, cool, dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I'd be unfireable. Awesome. What's what you uh, I think it'd be extremely uh, fire. Yeah. <laughs> fuck the coworkers you, parent. That's what makes you unfair. But then it's like, yeah. I'm gonna ground you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, getting grounded by daddy. You're fired, you're grounded. <laughs> I mean, think about though. You, <laughs> if, I, I wouldn't dap it up. I wouldn't be happy because it would be like every time we make fun of her, she'd be like, "But I fucked your dad." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a trump card. Yeah. That's what she wants. She wants I'd that fucking fly to California and fuck her mom's. What I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> say, you know, who's, who's mom do I want to fuck the most? Jackie. <laughs> that's right. That that's would be um, <laughs> that would be something for yeah, sure. He's actually roster scouting right now. She's looking for a baseball player uh -huh. or a golfer. Yes, so right. we'll oh, yeah. for something like that. That's like, are you like a are, are you, or like wait, a guy? Hey, where, where, Where's your le where, where, let's no, see where Jackie's confidence level is at? Yeah. No, I don't need professional at all. I just want somebody who like looks hot while playing a sport. Okay, so you're looking for a college you, player? No, I don't like, want college. Or you though. want yo? You want a rec? You want a guy who plays? Play I don't college? know what I want yet. I don't know what I want. <laughs> Part of this part of the season, <laughs> she wants, gotta figure she out. She wants like a mini tour golf player, like yeah. someone who's just completely useless. Who 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 um like uh Max Home is good. Like he's on the tour. Yeah, like, oh, he's, he's a real I mean, player. Like good. we need like a stoolie. 
Like K- K- Kisner, Kisner, yeah. <laughs> like, you want to fuck Kisner? Get uh, J- get Jim Renner from back in the yeah, day. Yeah, well, <laughs> Jim Renner was the people's champ. Like I think he's yeah, a little bit older of- though, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah so yeah. like we need a guy who's a young. Like a young stoolie who's like Go, we're going cut. we're going pro already for Jackie. Yeah, what? Wow. Dude, she's no, no, been no. in the league for like a year. <laughs> <laughs> like someone who's like made the cut once, like on a she, like an amateur thing, but he's like not, re- you know what I mean? Like he's 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 a he's an up and comer, but not I, really. Gonna I got a buddy who plays Friday through Sunday. We'll work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. gonna go with that. Yeah. I think a little Jackie's higher. Than you. Is like, yeah, really? Fuck. You're a baddie. He's I'm a fa- no, Jackie and Michael Conforto are probably on the same level right now. Ooh, you could fuck Michael Conforto. I don't know who that is, but that sounds fun. I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. If, I, I actually think this is crazy to say. I think Jackie's above Michael Conforto right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, this, no, this, this might be this might be the home run in the world. This, this might be yeah. Right, okay, pass. so yeah, yeah. So so <laughs> Michael Conforto, baseball player, played on the Mets in the World Series, hit two home runs in the World Series, young guy, and was destined to make like at least hundred million dollars. And then something great. Like I don't know how this has happened, but he's just out of baseball now. No team is signing him. So, you know, if he was hitting home runs in the World Series, he wouldn't even look your way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now he's kind of attainable, but he's still going to play for like the Long Island Ducks, which is like a, he's not going to, but they got an offer from them. So, is that like a Pornhub offer? Or, or no, like, I think it's like a real offer, but it's like, it's, it's real in the sense that they want him to play, but it's like a Pornhub offer in the sense that they're doing it for publicity. Well, right, that, that's yeah. what I mean. That's yeah, what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Jose Canseco played for them, but sometimes these guys Like one of those, like, whatever like a celebrity says, like, we'll give you like, $100,000 for a second really? game card right, deal. Right. Yeah. But he um, he gets his hair cut at um, Fleischmann's. He's, really? He's, so we have Fleischmann's gang. Um, and oh my God, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, like and so he's like in shape, but like what up, Michael? Kind of fell out. Of the deal. <laughs> like you guys are probably gonna make the same money this year, but like, it's all good. <laughs> but there's also this chance. So this is perfect. You gotta get in now. Be like, not the shoulder to cry on, but kind of like. I understand you're going through this, right? Yeah. Fuck them a bunch. Then you guys <laughs> are like a thing, and then it would be like a movie. It'll be like the the fighter or some shit where like you're the you're the ride or die because maybe he gets back into the league one day, uh-huh. and then and, was, you're the girl I, who's I, stuck by the his. humble beginnings. So now everything. now you get to reap like the benefits of like now you're like the rich baddie. Okay. And then he cheats on you. You fuck his dad. There's a whole bunch <laughs> yeah, of yeah, shit yeah. that goes on. <laughs> but it's a it's season th- like probably three, four, and five. I like that. I like that. In very KFC radio fashion, this is all going to happen, but he's not going to get back in the league. And, like, yeah. she's going to be sugar mama and him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but okay. If so, so then but, I'm going to right. die. Like, what's, <laughs> what's um, you know, like, what's, what's he? He's probably what's still made. Dad? Middle management and insurance? Okay. I'm, I'm tired of paying for groceries. <laughs> <laughs> this lady takes forever to cut cheese. <laughs> he, he's made, like, it's not going to be a ton of money because he was young, but he's probably got, like, a few million in the bank, like relative for Jackie's level. Like <laughs> she's used to fucking, I mean, she's used to fucking rape his son Ben. No free bro. That's not why you shush his back. Yeah, that's just it's not his true story. You want to date with a rapist? Oh yeah. Oh, I, mean, I don't think. I think, I think we. Uh, I think we cut all that. We didn't really did. that. I no, no, I don't think we cut all that. Everybody knew what I meant. He made Ben. Big bank. I, I mean, he's made last year. He made 12, 12.25. Last year, the year before that, eight. The year before that, four. Like he's probably made 12, 8, 24, probably like twenty seven million dollars in his career. Okay, this guy seems. So I don't think I can money. get Michael Comfort. <laughs> <laughs> but I think something's going on. Just side note to stop talking about Jackie fucking him. Something <laughs> happened to that dude. Like I think he got like seriously injured and we don't know it or he kind of lost his yeah. mind. But low enough that maybe you could <laughs> slip in there. Do you play like, on a team with fucking what's his tits? Matt Harvey? Yes. Yeah. You think he's got the sniffies, maybe? Mm, maybe Matt Harvey got him addicted to drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, will be. he offer me drugs? <laughs> <laughs> he's the perfect he's the guy. Perfect guy. <laughs> he said that so, like, oh, no. oh, look. My prince is charming. <laughs> will he also get me addicted to blow? No, I don't, oh. like, I don't want to do the drugs. This I just want the, the fucking offer. No, I feel you. I feel that. I do get that. He, he, might, be, he might be the one. Right now, mm. he's probably like... I mean, I can't even imagine what's going through his head. Imagine if we were like 
you know, through the grapevine trying to like hook him up. And he's like, God, I'm, my life is collapsing. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I need to do is go on a date with a fucking baddie. <laughs> Clearly going to ruin my life. Even like, like, I got to do is go Jackie, on a date with a baddie who's going to fuck my dad. Jackie isn't the fucking person. When you're just stuck at the bottom of a well, Jackie is the one who throws the rope down. He's the one who gets to the end and throws that whole thing down. <laughs> I can argue with that. Guess what? Now you're stuck. Not a well anymore. Now it's a crib. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> From, uh, yeah, it'll be like, like season, I guess it would be a tomb. Season three will be you like pursuing Mike, and then like the season finale would be like you fuck him, and then season four could be like you date, and season five could be the downfall and you fuck his dad, and it'll be like from baddie to daddy. You know? Oh my god, uh, 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 that was brilliant. <laughs> I'm here for it, girl. We just wrote like hey, Whistlepig. You want to sponsor this? Like, yeah. Show? yeah, right. Whistlepig is like, I want you to move on. Yeah. Yeah. Jackie should probably have her own reality show at this point. Just follow this bitch around. <laughs> like, like we like, heard the story from Chicken Fry of like finding her in the middle of the street with no shoes amazing, on. Amazing. Just I'm actually right. impressed that, was, that. Yeah, you know what? When Brian and you were was like, "Yo, your girl, yeah, Luna, so soaking wet, <laughs> she was, she was soaking like, wet because she was in a fountain." Or something. She was in the beginning stages of her like, <laughs> in New York City. New York City. How? Where do you find sprinklers? I don't know. She was running through sprinklers like that's a fucking. I actually thing. don't know, but I just I woke up like so wet. So. <laughs> and Huzzah. not not like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack, like uh, that's getting clipped. Jackie was playing the uh, yeah. the fire hydrant thing when they put like the the big gulp on the fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't if know what Jackie, you're talking about. Jackie, <laughs> I really appreciate that laugh. I'm, I'm the king of those laughs. Like, <laughs> no clue what any of that meant. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> that uh, yeah, no, you, like Jackie was playing in the hood with fire and with fire hydrants with the little kids. <laughs> J- Chicken Fry was in like the beginning stages of her like blackout tour, like not blackout tour, but you know what I mean? Yeah. And she was like, Yo, Jackie. <laughs> it's like, yo, I was like, what did she do? Did you watch her like murder a man? It was a bad. It was I was surprised night. the other night when we we went to dinner, uh, and then we, me and John split off and went home, and you guys stayed out. And I remember being like, it was you four and us two, and I was kind of like, well, we're going home. And I kind of like looked at everybody, being like, are you good? Do you want to come now? Are you gonna stay? Are you good? And I looked at you, and the eyes were already there, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, you should probably say, come, come home. With us. Like, you're gonna stay. But I don't know where you're gonna together, go. Right? But yeah, I think yeah, yeah, it was, no, no, yeah. I, I was gonna say that's why I was impressed because at that state, I was like, at that moment, I was like, if she's in this state now. We might be doing like barefoot and how you doing in a minute, you know? And you were, you were, you were good. Uh, you were fine, relatively, I think, as far as then I know. You, yeah. I the fact that I got the podcast out was in oh, the- I saw a picture. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Temp, temp, we, we got- temp. The description. You know, you know where we're going with this? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ooh, yeah. Does it change? It, it's changed now. It's changed. I don't know who changed it. I mean, oh, you no. didn't, you didn't catch it. Wait, Wait, who what changed? Are, what are we talking about? Just so, 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 oh, no, but I, that, that was growth. That was growth. That was growth. Because she probably could have incriminated herself for a couple of other places. Yeah. She writes temp. <laughs> she was like, wait, what are we talking about? What are you doing? What? We, when, when I woke up and I was going to promote the podcast, and obviously, I like we always say, we never remember anything we talk about on the show by the time it comes out. So I was going to promote it, and I was like, wait, what did we talk about? So I went to the iTunes description. And that just said temp. <laughs> and then I went, and I didn't screenshot it, but I was going to be like, oh, we got to talk about that later, make fun of Jackie. And then I forgot about it, forgot about it, forgot about it. And I was telling Nick and Kevin when we were going to Bustle with the Boys. And I was like, oh, oh, let me show you what Jackie, what the description of this episode is. And when I got there, Somebody put there it was up. a description. But it wasn't you. It was, it no, was you. No, Jackie oh. fixed it. Jackson, Sorry, Jackson. Jackson. I don't know why I, did, I don't know why I did third. I don't know why I did third. <laughs> that was really weird. I don't know why I did What that. the fuck? <laughs> you like caught like it was like you were trying to catch the words as it came out of your mouth. Like, I don't know why I said that. Jackson didn't fix it. <laughs> Listen. Listen, I don't know if you're Season on. Two that, you're definitely amazing. not on the talking the third person level. But, but if you just do that, that uh, that's a move. Yeah. Maybe you should start that's doing that. Jackie from Seinfeld. Yeah. 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 Jackie, 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 yeah. Jackie kind of likes it. Yeah. <laughs> There's nobody better than her, man. <laughs> you know what I said yesterday? What? I wish I got credit for this. We were, uh, so Bustle with the Boys. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't tell her. We, um, but I told John this. I was like, you know, Bustle with the Boys is going to, they always ask you some uncomfortable questions about Barstool coworkers and yeah. bosses and stuff. And they asked us to tear 
our employee, like top tier, second tier, third tier. And, Which uh, was super uncomfortable. Super uncomfortable. Yeah. Super uncomfortable. But they, they, honestly, they were gracious enough to not give us anyone bad, which then made it hard to put people in the bottom tier. They yeah. gave us nine people. But it was like, yeah, you're in like the third three, tier, three, three. but like, you know, Brandon Walker's having one of the best years like of anybody, and he was in the third tier. Like, uh, it was it was not really that bad. But then they asked <clears throat> somebody to, I think they said, who's the most underrated or a, a sleeper or something like that. Yeah. And I said you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh my said, God, I was that's like, you're so more, you're sweet. You're more production, but... Uh, but I also was like, it's because she's unintentionally funny and <laughs> just lives a ridiculous life. But if you're going to start talking to the third person and shit, that's going to be pretty funny. So <laughs> prove me right, girl. Prove me right. Speaking of, I forgot that you have an, a guy that wants to ask you out that DM me at 3.30 mm, oh. on oh, I mean, yeah. uh, Sunday night. Uh, this was, hey, man, I've got to ask. Do you think it would be a good idea if I asked Jackie out for dinner at Bavette's Bar and Beef uh, a few hours before the do doors open at the KFC show in Chicago? Yeah, she's not busy. Uh, <laughs> I've been told by a cameo from White Sox Dave that it would be the best steakhouse to go to. So White Sox Dave is playing a little matchmaker. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's, it's just like he... me and Michael Conforto have a thing going. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I totally would, but I'd be cheating on my no, boyfriend. No. <laughs> uh, That's, can you imagine... I haven't seen the cameo, so I don't know what the exact question is. But cameoing White Sox Dave, I have to close my eyes because I have such bad heartburn. Cameoing White Sox Dave, <laughs> and my life sucks so fucking bad, it's crazy. Um, <laughs> cameoing White Sox Dave, <laughs> and being like, "What's the best steakhouse to take Jackie to?" And what Dave's like, "I gotta fucking answer this." One. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know the place. <laughs> and, and what was it like? Something in beef. It was, yeah. It's not like uh, a steakhouse. Though. Why was he was asking it? you for permission? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was he asking for permission? Yeah, oh, he said, asking no, if it's a good idea. Good idea. Wait, why do you have to close your eyes when you have heartburn? I don't. I'm just trying to do something. Trying anything to make yeah. it better. But that's bar and beef. and That does not sound like a great beef steakhouse. Beef is spelled the French way B-O-E-U-F. Oh. Boeuf. Boeuf? Oh, that's a I, did, I did not Wait, know that called? was a thing. French, French what? What? Sorry, I didn't listen. Yeah, <laughs> not even close. Oh, he didn't know. He did say the French way. Yeah, yeah. He called it, Bavette's it, Bar oh, and oh, Beef. Oh, 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 I do love a good alliteration. This is, is that a good steak? It's, no. it's based in Chicago. Four point eight. Oh, yeah, no, God. he wants to do it before the Chicago live show. It, it, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but apparently, there's a Las Vegas one. I was gonna say, nice. say, if I can get out of like setting up cameras. Well, you can't do that. No, you could get a steak. Do we need? Yeah, you gotta go. But you, all right. Oh, you, yeah. We'll get out of it. We gotta like film or something, right? Oh, you gotta come back with i don't even know if you made the, the whole fake camera is kind of the whole thing but like you gotta come back with a fucking story oh you know like well, like, she'll, like she'll nothing, certainly come back with a if, meat sweatshirt i don't know if, she'll if, come back. Back. <laughs> if there aren't if there aren't any back. fireworks <laughs> happening if there's nothing great going on then you gotta like stab him in the leg with a fork yeah. and be like <laughs> you really gotta like fucking at least something like, come you back are, and, like, you're doing like, you're do, like that's end of season type of shit yeah yeah season finale june 19th you get four stab imagine she's sitting there at dinner and she's just like Man, I'm sorry. You are so boring. <laughs> like, I promised the boys I was going to do this right now. <laughs> that that guy would probably simp so hard you could tell him and he would give you a story. He'd be like, all right, let's like let's let's make a story. All right, let's go rob a bank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How romantic, huh? You should drop me off at the show after. What's, what's your ideal date, Jackie? My ideal date? I don't know. Nobody. Have you been on a date? Oh, oh boy, we're gonna get yeah, 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 yeah. with tweets after this. You guys know about my dates. I also. Yeah, yeah. With I know about the one with the rapist, but that's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you yeah we gotta take that out we gotta take that out <laughs> and i didn't know at the time we, you can beep it but it's not coming out I what do you mean no no you knew and you said well, you were gonna go okay. back out yeah you said you were gonna go yeah. for a second date oh, and your God. friends had to talk <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> the only fans yeah. what had you intrigued it was i was intrigued it was good it was good content it was good content <laughs> there was a girl at the uh goddamn comedy jam who, uh, if you watched uh, the, ep the Thursday episode of KFC Radio, we talked about this guy who sucks, uh, who was at the bar. And he told me, while he was just talking my ear off like an asshole, that he was like, you see that girl over there? And he, he said they were all talking earlier, and everyone was kind of like, what do you do? What do you do? And she goes, oh, I just have a Pornhub. I, like, I, I just moved to Nashville, I have a Pornhub. <laughs> and I was like, rock on, girl. That's like, like, do your thing, man. I'd, I'd like, love having to. Having a Pornhub is funny, <laughs> but like, I think of having OnlyFans. <laughs> 
Born up, I thought you had to like. Uh, that, but you can. I you think can, that kid may have can. misrepresented the story. I believe she would have a model hub. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're right. And that I was a lot of details. <laughs> details. <laughs> details. Another one of those answers. Sometimes you're like, I wish I know the specifics of how the yeah. porn hub industry mm-hmm. works. <laughs> yep. 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 Uh, but yeah, you're right. A model hub. But I guess it's just like you know, OnlyFans. Anybody? You think she got a blue check? Huh? You think she got a blue check? I, that's what I mean. Like I don't know. He, he, I asked. That guy was so useless. The one thing I could use him for was the name, and he got nothing. Wait, which one was this guy? He was the the, the oh that the fucking guy, guy the yeah. weasel guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a cunt. Yeah. <laughs> like you, you are. You got nothing for me. Huh? <laughs> nothing. Bad jokes and no porn star names. <laughs> what are you fucking good for? Um, I did. Has any so like I mean what? I the, the 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 that same night the jam night, you guys all did. That was the night you went out, right? Yeah. yeah. You guys have gone out shockingly little. Wait, so I've been here for this. Days. You went out. You went out last one. Night. I figured. I figured we we're gonna be. Well, last night we were. We, we were going to last night, <laughs> and then we, we all lost. One hundred percent clip. What? I figured I, we were gonna I, be working at one hundred percent clip this week. Where like you guys are gonna be going out every night. We we, we should make that happen. Oh, you, you do whatever you fucking want. I'm just saying. I was surprised. I was impressed. We tried to last night, and then we got tired and said that we're, we're gonna make up for it tonight. Yeah, yeah. 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 Tonight's the night. Leader of morale tonight. You, well, like, you there, there was a the moment where um, <laughs> yeah. we, we we were winding oh, down the yeah. comedy <laughs> jam, and um, what song was it? Fuck. Wonderwall. Nope. Uh, we're singing Wonderwall. The uh, what? Whatever it's called. Mr. Brightside. Nope. No. It was like an old '90s song. You uh, were filming them. Mm. They, oh, they, 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 you guys were just like sitting again? in a triangle. Bit. I know exactly. Oh, shit. Yeah, great. Oh. <laughs> Headbang. Oh, I think it was like yeah. a. It was a really white person song. It was. It was like. Well, um, because Jackie finally like got back to like her frat boy, like white. It was. Song. I was trying to hold it back for a little yeah. bit. And I couldn't. And she, I could tell her during Mr. Brightside. Jackie was feeling thing, it. And then immediately at one point I went, it's Mr. Brightside. And she, she was like, <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> What? No, hey, God, no, 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 right, no, we'll, 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 we'll put this. the video on. Yes, that's uh-huh. the one. No. Go in. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. No. It's like, like Melissa Etheridge or something. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I was going to say it was yeah. the one. Uh, what Melissa Etheridge, was a was. classic 90s rap boy song. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what it was so funny. It, was, it wasn't Mr. Brightside and it wasn't those. I just, I, it, I turn around. I'm sitting there kind of mumbling the words because I remember that song. But the three of you. All your heads coming together. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie uh, paid going? twenty bucks to request a song oh, yeah. at Tootsie's, oh, and they didn't play it. They didn't you play it. How much? Bucks? No, Stefan told me to. Stefan made her, yeah. So I don't know why you made and it was me. It hit me, baby, one more time. <laughs> which twenty dollars, and they didn't play it. Wait, wait, wait. Shady. No, it was twenty dollars for request. We only paid ten. I'm pretty sure. I paid 15. No, 15. Oh no, she paid. 15. Oh, so we I didn't pay the we didn't pay the amount they say to request. You sent me back up to give another twenty. I was like, we'll just take this money that does nothing for you. But Jackie also walked up with the wrong guy at first. I, oh. I walked up to the wrong guy and then he was like, "I'm not the DJ." I give him my Venmo and then he. Um, Can you pick oh, up? It's fine. It's empty. <laughs> <laughs> Get her another one. And um, no, no, I can't. Um, <laughs> and just kidding. These are. Um, and Ooh. Ooh. Oh, good dad. you that guys was lucky, gave but... me way too much credit for that. <laughs> um, She's got a data baseball right. player. Trying to support that you. Was, here. I thought she was gonna say little credit. credit. <laughs> give me enough credit for that. Is that what you meant? No, I just said, like, obviously I could catch that. That's what I mean. Like, oh, okay, I see what you mean. Like, that shouldn't have been a big deal. It shouldn't have been a big okay, deal. It was a good catch. It was a split right. finger catch. Throw, throw, throw a couple yeah. more. You got to catch the next ones all yeah, with your one hand. Yeah, Bordeaux, what up? Let's see how many you can catch with one hand. What? No. Well, you're we're going to throw, we're gonna throw stuff at you and you catch it. Okay. That was, like, whatever. Throw something else at me. Imagine that just snapped me in the mouth. That was a got a black eye all week. Yeah. Is that a, this is an absolute urban legend, yeah. right? Like or like a fake thing? No, that works. No, that works. <laughs> well, Nick and Jackie, yeah, I mean, so. <laughs> they said that like they are in the can that. manufacturing yeah, business. I, I see. <laughs> I there is no like way else supporting me there. <laughs> there is no way. I don't answer questions. I don't know the answer to. Stops I don't know. anything from exploding. I'm googling that. That's got to be a fake urban legend. <laughs> um, fuck. What was there? Something I was gonna say. Where are you guys going tonight? No clue. Yeah. Stefan's our god. Yeah, yes, we just kind of uh, well, the places that he hates the most. I'm like, let's go to them. Yeah, you're yeah. the one that's been leading the truck. I'm like, we got to do the reason. Nashville yeah. shit here. So I forgot it when I was like saying, like, you guys haven't gone out. I, I forgot it's only Wednesday. It feels like yeah. we've been here for two weeks yeah, already. Exactly. Wait, did through. you not go out last night? No. I, we watched a terrible fucking oh, Liam Neeson I movie. I didn't even. We, it was Kevin, Kevin. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. You guys are Kevin, cute when you guys watch movies together. Really <laughs> <laughs> Kevin has a rule. 
where it is, and, and it's, 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 this, is, this was the exception that proves the rule, uh, where when the critic score is very low on Rotten Tomatoes, but the audience score is very high, that's a classic. Usually it's mm, going to be a good, yeah. fun movie. We watched a Liam Neeson movie last night called Blacklight. Uh, I honestly couldn't really tell you what it's about. The FBI is running some kind of clandestine operation where they're killing uh, American citizens for reasons unknown, really. Oh, yeah. uh, to, to stoke the fires, I guess. But I'm not going to give you the whole synopsis. What I'm going to tell you is that movie was a goddamn piece of shit. It was impossible to watch, impossible to pay attention. To. I was kind of dozing, too, so I kept the, waking up being like, what the dude, fuck? Dude, Kevin and I could fight fake fight right now, and it would be better than the quarterback yeah, the, fight. Yeah, <laughs> the fake fight, the fake dude, fighting The was guy so who bad. was like the fighter, like the badass, like one of the, like, he was supposed to be like a Was there any anybody notable in this? Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson oh. was a star. That's why we got it. Um, I've seen, it was like, ha, ha, it was ha, like, ha, ha, it was, for real, like the dude who, I think he's supposed to be like a Jason Bourne type, where it's like he was creating the lab and he's like yeah. unfightable. He was like, <laughs> it was so bad. There, there, was, there, was, there was one time where they like like they threw someone's head into into like this thing, and you watch the guy just like hit his hands instead of his face. It was so bad. I've seen but, breakdowns. But, Liam Neeson like can't do fight scenes where like if you go. Oh, wait! Have you seen the one of him jumping the fence and taking three? No. Can, do we do we have a, no? We don't have a laptop. Ex, ex, dude, uh, there's yeah, yeah, a yeah, yeah. we we do. You do. All right, um, dude. Pull but, up the just like the Liam Neeson jumping fence. It is. I I want. I don't want to say the exact numbers. I don't want to get it wrong. I believe it's a 12 second clip with eight cuts. Yeah, no, <laughs> they, they need eight cuts to get to him over a fence. He has, he has ones where it's like 30 cuts in a seven, okay. seven second, second clip. clip. <laughs> Holy shit! That's unbelievable. It that was a, 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 that was a cut per second. <laughs> Wait, can you do one more time? I want to see if we, if we can count the cuts. That honestly, it probably cuts too fast for us to count them. I'll do. I'll do playback speed. There we go. Oh yeah, slow it down. <laughs> All right. This is. It's it's actually crazy that I remember. One. Even slow, it's gonna be two, two three, 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 four. 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 Five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Dude, the, <laughs> ten to eleven was so wow. awesome. <laughs> wow. That, that is so But it also makes sense because, like, Liam Neeson, like, <laughs> sounds like a badass and shit, but he doesn't, you know, he doesn't, it's not like he's, he's like a guy. You know what yeah, I mean? He's, not, he's like, 100 fucking, years old now. He's super, yeah, yeah, he's super old. <laughs> but that was 8% uh, critics. An eighty-two percent audience. And, and I don't think I've ever seen. If you seen gave that a positive view in the audience, you are an email with your address. And, and I'm no, come but kill you know you. what? Because I was wary of that too. I was like, "That's this might be skewed." It said like over five hundred reviews. So I was like, "This is this has got to be pretty good." Like yeah. a lot of the audience weighed in. Holy fuck! Did that stink? At one point, all three of us were on our phones. So I was like, "This is just." This this is my <laughs> <laughs> um, it, yeah, that 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 kind of bombed. But um, but yeah, I feel like you guys should be like. I'm, I, Surprised you're not all just cripplingly hungover. And I mean, I got a uh, DM from a guy who I believe is coming to our live show on Thursday. Who... Oh, a guy? <laughs> no, no, different guy. guy. <laughs> this talking. Are you getting dicked down? <laughs> 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 who said he can uh, show us around the uh, gay Na small gay Nashville scene? So I was actually that wondering be... that. Well, I right like, next to a bar. Trust me. I mean, yeah, we're here. Going, going down to so is it in the gulch? I showed up. What is the gulch? Is it? Was that what it's called? I have no idea. The, but but wait, what, where are we, are we right now? Are you saying we're we're right uh, next to a is that gay the neighborhood bar. we're in? What? I know. Yeah. We're doing. yeah, we're leaving when this airs. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, we're going now. Um, we're in West End. West End is is the gulch? The, is that what it's properly called? Am I saying the neighborhood right? The gulch. Is that Gulch sounds, sounds like, super gay. That sounds like a gay thing. Okay. <laughs> that sounds. I don't know like, why, but it does. Gulch, Gulch sounds like a gay, like sexual term. Yeah. Yeah, gay <laughs> Gulch. It's like a place, like a part of the penis like we didn't even know about. The, like, we're not, right, right. Like, have you ever like, sucked his gold? Like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck a you finger see, on my gold. Uh, actually, never mind. I'm gonna skip that. No, nope. what? No. no, go. Proceed. Proceed. The, the, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. The thing that was um, trending. I saw it. Maybe it wasn't trending for straight people, but. It's the, uh, you've heard of the Easter Bunny, now get ready for the Easter Bussy. Oh, God. The, <laughs> Wait, is it Easter with Bussy. It was for the bus in, like, Massachusetts, I saw. It was oh, like, yeah, I did see that. Okay. Honestly, well, oh, so it was it a real was thing. It was a real thing it's that like I was bussy. like, get ready for the Easter 
bussy, and, and you every guys, gay person was like, you can't that's be the, the straights don't that's know that. Bro, no. how about fucking this? First of all, yes, I did see this. Second of all, Kevin and I saw an Easter bussy that's even gayer than that. <laughs> <laughs> what do we see? Whoa. The fucking video Joey Camasta sent you. Oh, that was super gay. <laughs> no. Joey, Joey. No. Proceed. Joey. <laughs> Joey Josh wolfed me with this video of a, uh, this one will get shared. I, I say, this one will not be getting shared. No, yeah. I not assure on YouTube. you that. Not on YouTube. <laughs> Um, yeah. we, Look I would her. call it maybe a twunk. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's this twunk dressed as an Easter bunny, just popping eggs out of his ass. Oh, oh, Jesus. oh my God. I mean, all right. Don't go to this happen. camera. <laughs> Can I see? Yeah, I've seen worse. I've seen worse. That's what, that's yeah. what I said when I saw it. Like, the tattoo is the most offensive part. Very, it's very funny. Right? The tattoo is the, the most the Very funny. Oh, so you really nailed it on the head with the twonk thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like the Lloyd Christmas Dumb and Dumber haircut. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what the worst part is? <laughs> the worst part? <laughs> Pat gets so Pat, Pat, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the, the, this bothers me the most. The, the, he's like, watch <laughs> the eggs come out of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's fucked up. Yeah, well. <laughs> and what was funny was I was like, Joey, I don't get impressed unless there's like five or, five or yeah, six. Yeah, you guys eggs. really broke me. The fact yeah. that I'm just like, that's yeah. nothing. If I said that to 90% of my friends, they'd be like, that's fucked up. And I'd be like, yeah, I'm like no, that's literally nothing. <laughs> Have you ever seen a dude's balls come out of his asshole? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is the end of yeah. <laughs> Until further notice, that, that guy is the king. That, 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 that's fucking poetry in motion. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Why were we... Balls are so funny. We were talking about this yesterday. Oh, balls are God. so funny. They're, they're ridiculous. <laughs> they're ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You told me not to put out a video. Are you talking about this? Well, it's just... Well, like, I mean, it's not... It's not Nothing bad, like, but it's just like they're hilarious. Yeah, no, like, they're 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 so. Bizarre. I get jealous that you guys can do so much with them. What'd you, no, what did you? No, they're fun. Why did you, no, you call them? They're like they could be fun. They're like bouncy balls or something like. They're they're just like little. <laughs> what did you? Say? <laughs> what? Nothing. Um, well, they're just like little. I don't know. They're just like little like dangly things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like a you yeah. but, um, like I'm so jealous you guys have like dangly things that like you can just like Yeah, like, yeah like, but you can some, yeah. Well, I really get jealous when you guys like talk about popping them in yourself and then mm. like that <laughs> You want to set a ball, What? You want to set a ball? You, no, you, have, you have a set of balls for a day to come talk. It I know. seems like you like fucking a you sit down on your balls like, one time. Uh, what happens? You you sit on your balls more than anybody. I, I sit. Down I think you have a problem. Band, yeah. yeah. Like, 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 like they're just like a decided like. Yeah, you just flop down. You like cannonball into your seat. I'm like, I'm like, my balls are like. You ever seen a fucking dog go to sleep? <laughs> kind of like a dog, kind of like roam, it like roams they around like, for a little oh, bit. down, <laughs> and then he's like, "All right, here looks good." <laughs> <laughs> good enough. That, that's yeah. how I sit. Yeah. Well, the <laughs> Yeah. I thought you meant have you ever seen a dog get put to sleep? No, I was no, like, no, no. nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I go on Thursdays, they invite me. <laughs> oh, oh, I got a few. Yo, speaking of that, what we were talking about yesterday at dinner, <laughs> the, uh, the, what? speaking of that, yeah, no, it's going to make sense. Um, <laughs> why, there are so many people who own businesses. Why are morticians the only ones who opt to live with them? Yeah, that's insane. Like, um, like uh, tons of funeral homes home. double as, like, the home for the family. Probably because you can't, maybe you can't afford, like, a, a second house. What? No, yes, no, you can. You definitely can. The funeral home business is incredibly cool. lucrative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only because it's a business. W why? There's no reason to live with the dead bodies. That's, I was telling a story yesterday. Good my <laughs> friend <laughs> growing up. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe they're fucking freaks. They want to. <laughs> but, like, you're raising children then. Yeah. Like who, who was it? Was it, it, it Josh? Was, was it your? Oh, it was your buddy. It was my buddy's mom. Like her best friend's family had one growing up, and they play hide and seek and hide in the fucking caskets. What? And like <laughs> they would just with go, the body? No, not with the body. <laughs> the but like still, she would like do sleepovers there. There would be dead people downstairs. I'm like, that just you don't need to do that. It's just this like, like the stupidest answer. I'm gonna go through this, but the main answer right here. One of the primary reasons for this living arrangement is that death doesn't wait for regular business hours. People die around the clock, which means that the funeral directors are always on call. When a loved one dies, the family often wants the body removed right away. They're often in a state of panic or extreme grief and need to be able to make one call and have someone get to them as fast as possible. In the era of cell phones and instant communication, this isn't as big of an issue as it once was, but in the past, 
it was necessary to have someone available to answer the landline around the clock. Just make the landline your home. Right. Live next door. Call me at your house, at my house. Walk away. I'll get the dead person. You know how business cards have work and home? Yeah. Use the home. Be like, if I don't answer the work one, call the home one. Even now, a funeral director is, is or staff member is on site so they can reach the deceased much faster. This is, they're just lying. Like, That's there's no yeah. way that, like, you need director. to be at the actual house. The extra 30 minutes or an hour that, uh, that you're waiting is, like, like Bro, well, we told a story like not two podcasts ago about how we both walked in on our dead grandmas. <laughs> like, you don't need to, people aren't rushing to get the bodies out. I mean, I'm sure some people are, but who's waking up at 2 a.m. being like, ah, oh, fuck, he died. Get him the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I can wait till normal business hours. How about, let's see, there's multiple reasons that none of them are good here. Um, security, believe it or not, some drug users are using embalming fluid to get high. That happened like once. <laughs> yeah. So they're saying they need to be there. There's, to a, stop there's a fucking the movie. Oh, oh yeah, and... the mortician will take on the right, drug like, dealer. I was gonna say, how about you? Uh, just, like, lock, higher, how about higher lock, the, lock, lock the door. Doors. Yeah, it's a movie where Michael Caine's doing that shit a bunch because he like runs an orphanage and gets bored or something. I don't know. No, I mean, why, it's why is that thing, what's he doing? I'm just saying of... it's not a reason to be like I have to live here 20 percent. Yeah, convenience. You know, pharmacies they leave. Yeah, right, right. They're loaded with drugs. They got oxycontin there. I think it's a little higher on the list than embalming fluid is. Some funeral homes are typically very large, particularly old Victorian style. Now that would be funny if you were like, this house is bomb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got this shitty apartment, but you see this place? I got like five bedrooms and a fucking, you know, balcony overlooking yeah. the yard and shit. If your Don't funeral worry, home has a, a balcony, now. that's a little sketch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, they, if, if that's the reason, fine. Wait, like, do they I, get to live there like I, for free? I live in a dope house what? with dead bodies in the basement. Do they live there for free? I'm, they all, I mean, they're probably, it's probably like you have a mortgage. Have you seen Charlie St. Cloud? No. I think it's Zac Efron where he works at a, at a um, graveyard because his little brother died. And the only way you could see him is at the graveyard. So I think all of them, it's, this is a conspiracy theory where they all can see. So that, that I would believe more than some of this shit. Like, yeah, yeah, we are like one with death and we, have, we like run a fucking, Wait, you, you mean know. physically, like he could see. Like he's out, like he hangs like out a with a ghost. He hangs out with his ghost. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. He died yeah, and he, yeah, works yeah. At the, he works at the graveyard. So. Yeah, I would believe that more than just like, we need to get there. We need to be at the funeral home at a moment's notice. Like, actually, as a matter of fact, quite literally not. <laughs> like, if there's, there's one no, situation, there's no rush. Where it, it, like, a, a, you, there would be a much better bet for a doctor living in a hospital. Right, right. That's better <laughs> argument. Right. Than, yeah, yeah. Then uh, the guy's dead. He's not coming back. <laughs> Like, and like one extra, you know, 10, 10 extra I need minutes. this body out of here. Yeah. Now. Like, it's a loved one. No one's right. like, like, yeah, I get and, an extra 20 minutes. And again, that God. makes no sense because you're leaving the funeral home to get the body. Right. So it's like, you need, someone needs, they're like, well, you need to get the body out of the house immediately. <laughs> Doesn't matter where I am. Yeah. Like, I'm coming to you. So I could be here. I could be there. Great. Uh, I mean, this, this, this is. We've, we've uncovered quite a secret here. I, think. I bet you that is just <laughs> tradition. Wait, do you guys believe in ghosts? I do. Yeah. 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 I do not. I, 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 I don't know. You guys I don't. Two days ago. Oh, yeah. Like one, like last well, night. Last night. You, you had I a thought ghost. I had a ghost. But that's, well, John well, explained right. it's just the faulty lighting. But yeah. Uh, I, I think that the, I've seen or heard enough from people that I trust of enough like wacky shit that I think something goes on. Whether it's a ghost or it's just like there's things you can't see or a extra a different universe or something, there's just wacky shit that goes on. Because there are like miracles that you hear of. It's like that just shouldn't be possible. I, and I, weird I had things friends that. I was growing up, like, especially they were always telling us about like creepy shit that happened there. Like, they had like a CD changer and it like went to a specific track every like, time. Every like, time. Yeah. Like, they're like, that thing was off. When you turn it on, it was right. first track, first CD. Every right. That's what I mean. I've heard of that yeah. stuff too, where it's like, this it's thing was off, and now it's in the on. Of the night and shit, and like, you need to push a button. Additively. Mm -hmm. But. I was never there for any of it, so it's hard for me to be like. Yeah, it's a lot of like you stories, might just be, but yeah, but I do. I think they I, see people in the backyard. That. They lived in the woods too, well, so it was creepy. There was that that thread that went viral on Twitter not too long ago of um, like, what's the creepiest thing you're like a kid has ever told you? And there's just a lot of weird shit from parents being like, "Oh, I didn't see that." Oh yeah, it's I just, fuck with that stuff. Oh, I don't know if I believe it or not, but I'm entertained by it. Do your kids ever do that? What your kids ever do that? Um, my kids have not. My sister, when she my was, kids, I'm getting. But actually, but if we could reference that fantastic film we watched last night, um, <laughs> that could be from. Remember, remember the the, the Liam Neeson. He's like an FBI clandestine type agent, and he has got a granddaughter 
who he's very protective of, and he teaches her all these things. Like she goes around and checks the locks in the house three times a day, or every three every hour. She, checks she knows the locks. all the exits. She knows, yeah. And and uh, she's also drawing pictures at school of strangers watching her. So he's installing security cameras at the house, and he tells the mom asks why he's doing that. He says because she's drawing pictures of strangers watching her. And she says, and who do you think is fueling that paranoia? Yeah. So I would bet a lot of that comes from that shit, too. From like that could. Over yeah. Yeah. Parents, put it in their, yeah. their brain a little bit. My sister once that said. That was very philosophical. It wasn't. It was just a quote from a movie. <laughs> it was a movie. Oh. Someone else, someone else <laughs> thought of it. Yeah. Sorry, take back. But no one in the world is going to see that movie. So <laughs> claim that as your own. Uh, my, my sister said like um, something about the blue lady. The, the lady oh. in the blue dress. And no. I remember being like, what the fuck? Um, I but 90% I, of the time, it's like. Or they're a molester when they talk about like some figure mm -hmm. or something like that. That's yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, yeah that's that was that was a light thing to bring up. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. It's true. There was oh man, I want to find that thread because there was some ones that were like, um, yeah, it was the was it like the one that like I used to be a sailor or something like that. It was a bunch of different one? ones that were like yeah. you know I um like I. It, it would just, they just say like kids say like ominous shit sometimes. Yeah. They're like, yeah. oh, you know, like the 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 men with the black eyes. That yeah, yeah, of, yeah. You're like, what the fuck saw, are you talking about? I saw about? one the other And it's day. probably just silly imagination, but you know, and that's why also we've seen uh, scary movies where it's always like an old person or a little yeah. kid. I'm I'm terrified of old women and like little girls in movies when there's you see a, them just like staring at you. I'm like, yeah. oh, nope, 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 nope. There's a TikTok going around right now where it's a little kid like playing at a park, just stops. For five seconds is just spacing up looking up where it looks like he'd be eye level with a person and then he just immediately like looks down goes to the dirt pulls out a cell phone from like <gasps> under the wood chips like what completely hit it like why was somebody filming though it was like they were just filming their kid being like playing around and then that... like the kid just stopped and like goes off i feel like people do that i think with kids that shit's creepy but like if you have the camera on me all the time yeah Bro, I, I, oh, I, gonna, sh I shut off regularly. <laughs> yeah, true. they're like, "What's he staring at?" Nothing. Yeah, that's, I do that too. He's haunted. No, he's just dumb. No, <laughs> he's, like, he's just a vapid, brainless moron. Just forgot what he was saying. Old, I, just, old, yeah. <laughs> I just turn off. Yeah. I'm like, I, my my body. I have like, like an old old modern uh, an old modem with the desktop, where like it just it would go on standby. I hate it when people are like, and what are you thinking about? And you're like, literally nothing. Dude, yeah. <laughs> literally nothing. Jackie, Jack, Jack, we know. I've gotten, <laughs> I've gotten in like, significant fights with girlfriends about that. Like, you have to be thinking about something. I swear no to God, way. I'm thinking no way, absolutely don't. nothing. Yeah. Like, I was just off. Yeah. <laughs> Every home video of me growing up, I am just Kool-Aid mustache, <laughs> mouth open going. <laughs> it's like I, like the tv is in front of me but like i'm looking above it like it's, <laughs> i'm just somewhere else <laughs> yeah. trying to find it because there was some things that i was like if i my kids do say because it's like they're probably just being silly and probably just have an imagination or heard a story that they're retelling that like is is not real or whatever. Well, because kids are just as creepy as old people because neither of them are humans. That's what I mean. They're not. Yeah, they don't have like a fucking brain yeah. to. Like, I, don't, I don't think it kids are old people as humans. They're just like fucking different okay. things. <laughs> My sister had some shit where she would like, she said at like, mm -hmm. like before she'd watch movies or anything, she was like, oh, I. Like, remember being like all my friends surrounding me and then me saying goodbye. Or it was something like she remembered her death from like a past life, technically. But it was like before she had seen anything. And yeah, well, that's uh, what well, I got one, one of these tweets was like a, a, a kid said, um, like, oh, you clean the windows the same way that Mrs. Flaherty does. And she was like, well, like, who is Mrs. Oh, Flaherty? And, and she Flaherty's said something like, oh, it, like the same thing as like Father O'Day and the boys and all this shit. And uh, like they said, that it turned out there was like an orphanage in Ireland where the family was from oh, that wow. had a father O'Day or some shit like that. Like weird shit where it was even That's like, true. even and the, the story didn't totally match up, but even just, like a, it was like a three-year-old being like, that's how she cleans the windows. It was a very, like three-year-olds don't know, they don't that know fucking funny. anything, you know? But I, I, I've i always said it, so all right, let's- It is let's, it's funny too, like to think of like, like that, like a kid growing up and being like, people be like, yeah, you saw a ghost. He's like, 
like, what? I don't see ghosts. And they're like, like, no, like you knew, like you would you say weird, weird things. You would say weird <laughs> things. Like I knew how to like, clean the windows. Like Mrs. Flair. Like yeah, I'm a kindergarten teacher. I was eloquent. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, like yo, this kid knows how to talk. He, he fucking haunted. <laughs> if you, if you had a family. And like you're stuck in like a, it's like a movie situation when your your kids see something and then your wife or your husband is like on board with it, whether they think there's aliens, whether they think there's ghosts or whatever. What would it take for you to be like, all right, we have to get out of here. We're moving. We're leaving. We're moving the house. Or we're moving houses. I don't. I don't think scary. See shit. Yeah. If I don't see it, you're all fucking wrong. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, think about I, I, you know, <laughs> like, you're the you're house. the problem in every movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the one we're all going. Just fucking listen to the kid. Yeah. Well, no. because no, but you know what? It is funny when kid, you when kid, I kid, you, I think you've like, been kicked out of college once. You don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about life? I think in like Insidious, the kids see something. The wife believes him, and the dad is like, "Shut up!" But it's funny to Dude, think because like, was... you probably like it's like we went through the fucking, we got the loan approved, we went through the the inspection, <laughs> yeah. and you told me you wanted to fucking get an island, and we blew out the wall and <laughs> <laughs> the walk-in closet, and we're fucking staying here. <laughs> and then it's like, well, everyone's dead because you didn't move. Dude, yeah. The uh, that fucking movie, dude. I saw when I was in Jamaica. It was, I, I literally it was right after Fifty First Dates. When I was in Jamaica. There was it was like TNT. Caribbean or something like that. And it was just all, all movies all the time. And it was like it was pretty good movies. Was, yeah. He, I watched Equalizer, Equalizer 2, 50 First Dates, um, I don't know, a couple other things. And at like midnight, 50 First Dates started. And I was like, fuck yeah, I rock with this. <laughs> and then I, I was not feeling well, so I couldn't sleep at all. So that ended at like 2 a.m., whatever, 2.30 with commercials and shit. And, and then Insidious comes on. You can't go 50 first dates to Insidious. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's insane. Well, I, I agree yeah, with you. Yeah, well, it's a horror movie. Yeah, it is. It is a horror movie. You know what's it's more scary than the Insidious? Movie. Movie. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking terrible. That's right? fucking funny. Would you rather, it went would you rather live movie. in a haunted house or have, uh, like, Alzheimer's? Haunted, haunted house. Wait, wait. Bro. What did you say? Would you rather live in a well, haunted guess, house like, or have Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's? The idea of Alzheimer's. Like, guys kill you type shit? Like, It's like a bad house. Haunted I mean, that can, I, I guess you gotta take Alzheimer's, out. but Alzheimer's is, is definitely one. You can at least maybe fight the ghosts or figure some shit out or become cool with the ghosts or whatever. <laughs> That's funny. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. All, I, Alzheimer's just fucking. That might bring some guests over. I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, here, just fucking get them. Yeah. <laughs> Alzheimer's? Do you know? I think you know. Boys, with no, no, no. Do you, no. Uh, I mean, you know when you have it until it gets too bad, and then you don't anymore. Like, you know it's coming. Yeah, yeah. You forget, like you just. Like, to me, that's the worst. I'd rather fight not, a ghost. It's not. There, there's a very sad movie with uh, what's uh, chick from Twilight and. Kristen Stewart. Yeah, Kristen Stewart and the chick from Crazy Stupid Love. I'm forgetting every name right now. Uh, it was uh, No, the mom. Um, Julian. No, it's not Julie Andrews. Wait. Get up at his wife. Julianne Moore. Ju Julianne Moore. Julianne Moore? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Okay, yeah, it is her. Uh, yeah, there's a very sad movie about it. Go watch it. You'll... Yeah. Oh, I've seen that. It, it's and fucking hard. Bald. Yeah. I watched that with a girl. Yeah. And she was like, "Let's watch this." I've always wanted to see it. I was like, "All right, cool, whatever." I was fucking like, "This is." Hard. I was like, "This is some heavy subject matter." Like, I knew what it was about going yeah. into it, but I was like, "All right, whatever." But they just Friday night movie with a chick. I was on my couch. Yeah. My shirt was wet. Yeah. What? I was like, yeah. it was like, Are you she was crying. I, you seem like, um, yeah, I was just saying, this is like the third movie in the past few days yeah, yeah, yeah. you mentioned you cried at. Got some yeah, but I think I'm just telling stories. Like, I, I, you know, I, I, cry, I cry at Are them, you but it's not like half bitch? normal. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, we're going to make, make Jackie watch that tonight. No, yeah. 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 Let's see yeah, what happens. Oh my God. Well, I actually don't really dude, cry at There's a scene at the very end, the girl, the woman is dying. They have to like take her home. Yeah. Basically. The, the parents want, basically it's like the parents are assholes and they're trying to make decisions for her and her caretaker is like, no, I know her best sort of thing. Yeah. They take her, I don't, I don't think I can tell the story. I think I might start crying. <laughs> no, she it's... brings her home and is like, I, I don't know how to tell this. She, <laughs> she was like, um, like she, knowing she's about to die. So maybe it's not Alzheimer's, but whatever it was, she knew she was dying. She, she had early onset dementia. And she was so like, she was only, and she's only like, like leave me, like go, leave the door, like leave the room, close the door, like let me die. Like she's like you, like you don't you shouldn't have to put yourself through that. Yeah. And so she's outside the door and she's hearing her like gasp for air and she's yeah. like trying not to go in there. Yeah. And eventually he's like fuck it and goes in there and just holds her while she breathes her last oh. breath. Yeah. And I'm watching this movie with a chick like, oh my god, <laughs> yeah. it was so bad, dude. Yeah. That you almost crying and you saying that reminds me of 
Fuck, what's the movie with Ray Romano and... Uh, Pad- Pad- Paddleton. Paddleton. I haven't seen it because I'm... Bro! Like, oh, what is that? How does that work? Or what's the... What's the Dude, it's like... I, I forget what Ray Romano's character has. Yeah, but... He has something... He's terminal. He, yeah, he's a younger guy with some Paddington? terminal... No, that's No, it's Paddleton. And they play this game called it's Paddleton. Still uplifting. It's It's, it's him and the dude from the league. Fuck, it just says terminal cancer. Uh, terminal cancer. So he has terminal cancer. So it's him and the it's him and the dude from the league. I forget his name. Mark Duplass. Mark Duplass. Yeah. Uh, Duplass and his brother uh, directed. I think they they only do shit that you're like this looks fun and then you're fucking weak. <laughs> awesome. And it's uh it's like he's he's got cancer or whatever and like they play this game Paddleton like they're uh, they live in the same like apartment complex they're, like they're best friends. And he's like, I'm gonna like. He's like, I'm, I'm gonna end. It. Like, I'm, I'm not going out with cancer. Like, I'm going out on my own terms. And I forget how he does. It. I think it's pills or something like that. And like, but they just lay down in bed together. And he like, and he he kills himself. He commits yeah. suicide. And then like, he, and then like, Mark Duplass is like rolling around on the ground crying. Like, it's fucking. Bro, I watched that alone. That was not Holy fun to watch. Moly. Moly. Holy, that's like, kind of not a, fun to watch with someone either. It's that's not a fun strange to watch. message to like. I don't know if I had cancer. I'd be like, that was maybe I'll kill Netflix myself. Too, right? when Netflix was only putting out heaters. Yeah, well, yeah. that was a Netflix movie. I think so. No shit, man. Netflix is fucked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude. They, they, they uh, I read it was a forty-five billion dollar drop in value. He was thirty-eight percent stock. Forty percent of stock. Forty-five. Holy Stefano shit. like I sent last night. Oh it's no, so that's funny. right. Chris, <laughs> Chris liked the thing. It said they lost however much money last month. They expected to lose two million yeah. next month. <laughs> and Chris just Chris liked he did. it. <laughs> Chris, Chris that's ne- Netflix. <laughs> should just do comedy specials and keep it tight who they actually give comedy special to find the rerun shows and do the reality TV show trash and the rest see you later keep the witcher I'm, I'm still keep the witcher for Nick <laughs> <laughs> alright let's wrap it up that's uh, that's Friday Night Pints from Nashville with the gang if you want to date Jackie and you're you're uh, like in shape and can play softball <laughs> you can do not that those uh, also those do not hit me up if you play softball <laughs> 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 midway, yeah, I mean, you lost the whole you just lost all your fans sorry that's I'm it. sorry Jackie you might get canceled that's the sort of shit that a girl on Saturdays what the hell <laughs> that's the sort of shit where a girl would tweet like if you play softball don't even hit me up and she would get like 500,000 okay, likes and people would be like you're fucking wait softball we all play softball yeah. Oh, I take it back. Dude, I didn't know that. Like, did you mean? Le- did you like? What were you thinking? Like, she meant no. She knows. No, I, yeah. I, I, I meant it. I meant it. I saved it. I know what I, I said. Don't, like this, I got, we don't play softball in in the Northeast. I honestly I mean, like, like people do, but it's not California only like, thing like as it is girls in, play softball. Midwest. Oh yeah, we're yeah. talking about like guys get together and play like a like a. That's, uh, oh, that's, that's what I thought. You, oh my that's god, what I thought that's you fine. You, we, oh, yeah. you thought like girls playing hard, like lesbian. Yeah, and I was kind of like, I mean, it's just not what I'm going for. But like, you can hit me up. No, you'll find you'll find some fucking backwards hat, bro. That might get you more. You know, all my friends play softball. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, you and your friends. No Jack, I saw Jackie out the other night with one of my friends, and he he goes, "Hey, can you can you introduce me to Jackie?" Just like I was like, "Yeah, sure." And then I introduce him. He walks away. He like he's shocked. He's stunned. Like 10, 15 minutes go by. He's like, "Dude, I'm still buzzing off of meeting Jackie right now." No. I swear to God. I, mean, I thought I think he was shocked himself because Jackie was just like, "Get the fuck away." <laughs> Formal no, line. Are you? I, I was gonna say, how is that <laughs> for you right now? What an episode for you. Uh, Your fucking dads and getting dates and shit. Yeah. So, uh, big thanks to Whistle Pig, as always, for uh, hooking it up. They've hooked up the house. Full week. All week long. We've Gang had unlimited shit. whiskey, unlimited piggybacks, and it is truly the best whiskey in the game. So go to whistlepigwhiskey.com. You can order the piggybacks to be del- uh, delivered to your door. Um, in certain states, unfortunately, only certain states. You can also catch it at your local liquor store if you are in uh, the right states as well. This, the, the whiskey is, is pretty much everywhere. I personally, uh, I think it's the it's the I, ten year. I just had the, I a, just had the ten year. It was very good. I'm a twelve I've guy. Also, yeah, I, I, well, I was gonna say 12. I think it's the twelve, the 12. but that's kind of obnoxious because I think the twelve was like you know, twelve. The twelve guy, it's fucking yeah, it's, yeah. It's like, I'm, the twelve, I'm, the last two years, it's aged in wine barrels, and it is so yeah. fucking so. I've been but thinking about it since there, he went to this is there like it's like forty bucks. It's a little bit more expensive, but worth you know buying. Don't buy the shitty whiskey. Get the good stuff, and you'll really enjoy. I it. I never drank whiskey before, and like I. Really like this. Yeah. Like, I really do. That's, that's, that's the, the endorsement right there. <laughs> Batty. Batty. MLB. Batty. 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 Drink whiskey. Battypig.com. <laughs> Whistlepigwhiskey.com. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>
<laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, click here to subscribe so that you get all the new episodes as they come out. And John, what should they click if they want notifications? Make sure you click thumbs up for the like. Hit that bell icon.